What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it has been made official. The Las Vegas Boxing Commission medical staff have now officially cleared former unified three-belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl The Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch armage. He suffered, as you heard, the first major setback in his career as Earl Spence suffered the first loss officially in his career. And he did so in very disappointing fashion to er for Errol Spence's standards, okay? Errol Spence, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. He took on his biggest rival and now undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 40 wins, no losses, no draw, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 36 years of age, 5 foot 8, with a 60, with a 74 inch arm reach. With that said, Errol Spence, he got dominated in this fight. He took a lot of punishment in this fight. Errol Spence was dropped in the second round, twice in the seventh round, and stopped in the ninth round. And many people thought the fight should have been stopped in the sixth round, uh, definitely in the seventh round, seventh round, but most people felt like it should not have went past the eighth round. He took a lot of punishment in this fight, Errol Spence did. And because of that, because of the punishment and because of the knockdowns and because uh, he was bleeding from his nose, his lip, and his mouth, um, his eyes were shut, and the Boston Commission suspended Errol Spence. They always suspend you if you suffer knockdowns or knockouts, but in this case, uh, uh, it was a very, very tough outing for Errol Spence. And the Boston Commission sus suspended him. Well, now they've done their homework. They had initially suspended him to the 28th. Um, they've done their homework. Um, and now the Boston Commission, they met. Uh, they congregated and they decided that uh, Errol Spence should be cleared. Okay, so now if you go to Errol Spence's box rack, he is absolutely cleared. If you went to his box rack um, before they had the hearing, um, it, it said that he was suspended, okay? Uh, but now they decided that they were going to clear Errol Spence. Uh, Errol Spence petitioned and activated his rematch clause. The loser had a rematch clause. They had 30 working business days to activate the rematch clause. Errol Spence officially activated the rematch clause to face off against uh, Terrence Bud Crawford again immediately. Uh, the date looks like he was trying to have... Uh, by the end of the year, by December, he stated he wanted to move up uh, to junior middleweight as he is registered now as a junior middleweight. Um, he's actually top three, the number three uh, ranked mid junior middleweight in the World Boxing Council, better known as WBC, with President Mauricio Suleiman and a board of 32 members. Um, so he's officially a junior middleweight and he's officially cleared uh, for all boxing activities. Um, and he petitioned for the rematch clause and now uh terence crawford says he's willing to oblige him there's some uh uh a lot of you know um conversation as to what weight class is going to be at because uh terence crawford the winner has the ability to choose what weight class the fight takes place in and uh and he's going to get a bigger share of the purse automatically and Errol Spence, he got the opportunity to force the rematch where Terrence Crawford has to oblige uh, Errol Spence's uh, wishes to have the, the rematch immediately. Uh, there's another bigger problem, and that's that Showtime, Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, recently stated that he doesn't expect them to have a rematch this year. He doesn't expect them to rematch until 2024. This is something that Steven Espinosa has uh, um stated weeks ago um weeks after the fight and weeks ago that at at 
worst, he thought that it was going to be late 2024 and at best early 2024. He never saw the rematch happening in 2023. Now, according to different reports, they have a a deadline, okay? Um, they have a deadline to December, the end of the year. So uh, if Errol Smith doesn't meet that deadline, is he going to lose his opportunity, his place in line to fight Terrence Crawford? As Terrence Crawford is now a hot commodity within the sport of boxing, especially after the way he won. Everybody's eager to see what's Terrence Crawford's next move. Who's he going to fight next? And people are already uh, fatigued of the notion of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford rematching to begin with. So imagine uh, if the contract expires, even Terrence Crawford's team has stated now that they feel like it's a waste of time to see, you know, um, a rematch. Uh, they want to move on to bigger and better things. Uh, they actually have their sights set on them. A mega showdown, moving up three weight classes, attempting to become undisputed in three separate weight classes. He's already the first male to become undisputed in two separate weight classes, but now he's looking to become the first male to become, uh, the first boxer to become undisputed in three separate weight classes. And he looks to fight the winner of September 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena showdown between Saul Canelo Alvarez and um, Jamel Charlo. So he initially had his sights set on Jamel Charlo at 154, but Jamel Charlo's daring to be great himself, jumping up two weight classes. He's the undisputed junior middleweight champion. He's jumping up two weight classes to fight Canelo, who's the undisputed super middleweight champion. Uh, so he, Terrence Crawford has his sights set on the winner of that fight. So if this deadline is not met and the contract expires, does Errol Spence lose his place in line to fight Terrence Crawford in a rematch is what's important here to note. Because again, like I stated, his team already stated that they have, they don't have much interest in this rematch. So if they are not contractually obligated to fulfill a rematch with Errol Spence, then it begs the question that if Terrence Crawford would even revisit the opportunity or the possibility to fight Errol Spence in a rematch. Do we feel like it's worth it? Or at that point in time, is Terrence Crawford just going to now look to start building his body up to moving up to 168? Because I truly believe if Terrence Crawford gets the opportunity to fight the winner, Jamel Charlo and Canelo Alvarez, and he's victorious, well, Terrence Crawford is going to retire from the sport of boxing at that point in time. I just don't see him continuing. He'll be three-division undisputed champion He'll be the face of the sport of boxing should he beat the winner of that fight. And his legacy is already cemented. And he's 36, going on 37 years of age. So I just don't see him continuing on with uh, um, a fight with uh, uh, anybody else after he secures that victory. So I believe it's now or never for Errol Spence to get his opportunity to rematch Terrence Crawford and try to uh, rewrite uh, um, what took place and rectify and get his career back on track, right? So with that said, it's important. Now, I know for his health, um, it's important that he doesn't fight, you know, uh, too quick, too soon. Many people are concerned with his health, but uh, Errol Spence, you know, is a dog and he wants to get his get back. So it's interesting to see how this is going to unfold and play out. But Errol Spence has now been cleared by the board, uh, the medical physicians. Now it's all up to if Errol Spence is going to meet the deadline. Again, Showtime and Steven Espinosa said it ain't happening until 2024. And if it's supposed to happen before the year's end, which would mean December, then Errol Spence is in a position where he could lose his opportunity to fight Terrence Crawford. And if Terrence Crawford's team is anything speaking anything truthful of what Terrence Crawford is thinking, and they have an opportunity to not have to contractually obligate to fulfill a rematch, they'll possibly be looking to just go ahead and fight the winner, Jamel Charlo and, Errol, and Canelo Alvarez, and bypass this Errol Spence rematch. So we got to see how this unfolds. I know uh, um, that people are going to say, well, Terrence Crawford owes it to him. Oh, well, they made it happen, right? You know, um, 
But Terrence Crawford owes it to himself to do what's best for his career. And if he only wants to have one more fight and fulfill a, uh, a, fill a goal in his legacy, well, who can blame him? So we got to see how this unfolds. But nonetheless, Errol Spence has been cleared and uh, uh, able to resume all activities. Now, again, I believe that Showtime Steven Espinosa is concerned with his health. Not on top of that, they're also concerned with if they're going to get a return on their investment if they put up this rematch because it's going to be a hard sell to the fans that uh, Errol Spence is going to be more competitive. And the fans actually pay for it after what they witnessed July 29th. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone, man. Peace.